My name is Ronnie Cruz, and this is Path, Path of the Network Path Marketer. All right, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to talk about appearance. That's right, appearance, and whether or not uh, you know the superficial is important to your content creation. Now, of course, this is more relevant for your video platforms, you know, your long form video like YouTube and of course the short forms, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, wherever short form videos are available. And of course, streaming as well. Um, you know, is, is the appearance, is your, um, is your visage important, uh, an important factor? Um, with podcasts and blogs, it's not necessarily as relevant. Uh, I've I wanted to chime in on this, and I know there's going to be a bunch of different opinions. Uh, I do I do want to weigh in because uh, I, well I have I have a little bit of a history with this subject. Um, I'm not what what well no let me backtrack. I was going to say I'm not what a lot of people would um, would consider uh, um, uh, what's the word conventionally good looking. And, and uh, you know, I was about to say that, but I realized that that's all my own self-judgment, right? <laughs> that's my own insecurities and self-judgment. So, you know, if we're, if we're talking object- objectively, I have no idea um, how the world perceives me in terms of my looks. Um, so what else is there when it comes to the superficial? What, what else is, is there when it comes to the appearances? Well, you know, there's your clothing. Um, there's, you know, how well you're made up, how well you're, you're manicured and put together, hair, you know, makeup, if, you, if you're into that, um, whatever the situation. And for me, I've always been just kind of come as I am. <laughs> if you watch the video version of this, you'll kind of notice that. Um, I'm generally in a t-shirt or a hoodie. And my hair, I mean, over the years has just been in, in, you know, this constant flux of, of being really long or growing out to be really long or, or shaved, right? Uh, right now, I'm in the process of regrowing my hair out till, till it's very long. So I've, I, like, I, I've, I've tended to want to always buck that trend and, and buck that assumption that you have to look a certain way to be successful, Right. Uh, you know, because I, I, I came up at a time. It, well, I came into network marketing in a time where, uh, you know, you the expectation was, you, you know, you got to show up um, in your best uh, in your best business attire um, to make a good impression on people. You know that people will pay more attention to you. You'll have more um, you'll have more credibility. You'll have more influence um, because you're, you're more, quote unquote, presentable. I learned after a while that that wasn't really a thing, at least not for me, because, you know, I, I, I always tried my hardest to show up with, um, you know, with the best clothes that I had, which, you know, wasn't really the greatest, but it was the best I had. Um, uh, and, 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 you know, live up to, you know, whatever the standard of, of being presentable meant. Um, but it really didn't, I mean, it didn't amount to any success in my business. So like, I was like, well, what, like I'm going through all this, um, you know, jumping through hoops to to look a certain way, um, but people aren't paying attention to me anyway. So I might as well, at the very least, be comfortable, <laughs> right? Right. And then I, I got to realize that, well, you know what? To be honest, if somebody's going to judge me on my appearance, um, and 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 you know, make a judgment as to my worth, my value, um, you know, what I bring to the table, based on on those superficial things then that might not be somebody that I want to work with in the first place. I, I feel like, at least from my own experience, that, that trying to meet that standard and criteria of looking a certain way and dressing a certain way was, it, it started to feel like I was begging people to, to look at me, begging people to pay attention to me and therefore listen to what I had to say in terms of my, my business and, and the products and services that I was selling. I really really let go of that very quickly early on and and what i got to work on more was my own self confidence and and carrying um carrying myself right like like i developed a confidence in my own abilities and um you know a confidence in what i was selling a confidence in my expertise a confidence in my knowledge a confidence in my products um that it didn't matter whether or not I, I looked a certain way because I, you know, I, I was, I was done begging people to, to pay attention to me, right? You either going to pay attention to me or not. Like I have something to say that uh, I think could be of value to you, but if you don't want it, that's totally fine. And so that, 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 that mentality really bled into, 
um, just showing up comfortable in my own skin, regardless of what clothes I was wearing or, um, you know, you know how my hair happened to be. I remember sitting in, a, we were at an all-inclusive resort a couple, well, not a couple of years back at this point. This must have been, you know, nine, ten years ago. And I was uh, already a, a, a blue diamond in my company. That's you know one of one of the, the the upper level ranks. And I was we were having dinner with a couple that was relatively new to the company, um, and you know they were they were uh, up and comers. They were really ri- running, um, rising through the ranks very quickly. And and one of the one of the one of the um, couple asked me, well, you know, were, were you worried? Are you worried that you know with your long hair? Um, that that people would judge you and and that would hinder you from from being successful, and and my answer was exactly that right. My exa- my answer was, you know what, like, no, not at all. Uh, you know, maybe at a time there was, and I I tried to fit into a certain mold, but I let go of that very quickly, and and realized that you know what, if somebody's going to judge me for the way I look, um, and and use that as a reason. Um, uh, not to work with me, then I, I don't want them in my organization in the first place. Um, so, so that's something to think about. You know, appearance. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't put much value in it. I, like, I really rather pay attention to um, the person's substance than the appearance. And uh, because appearance can never can change. Um, I, you know, most of the time I'm in a t-shirt and jeans, um, but. On the platform, I'll wear a you know an Italian suit. I like suits. You know, I like to dress up too. Don't get me wrong. Uh, you know, I like I have Armani suits. I have suits that that are from, you know, that I bought from Rome. Um, you know, so like it's it's all well and good, but understand that it's it's transient. Num- uh, well, uh, it's it's interchangeable, um, and opinions are very very subjective about looks in the first place, and it's transient because trends and and styles change over time. Um, I would rather you be comfortable in your skin um, and work on confidence um, because that to me is much more attractive than any name brand clothes that you're wearing or any, you know, hip and current hairstyle that you happen to have, right? Get, work on your confidence, work on your, work, work on your self-esteem and, and, you know, also of course, work on your, your, your knowledge base and your skill set, and, and that internal confidence and, and that, you know, that, that posture that you end up, end up developing, um, that's going to attract more people to you than, than anything else. So that's my message looks, I mean, you know, some other people might disagree with what I have to say about, about, uh, you know, appearances. Um, but I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and, and I, I continue to get results regardless. Right. So whatever you think about looks, um, that's just my two cents. So, uh, that's going to do it for today. More from me tomorrow. So until then, wait, actually, before I sign off, um, if you're listening to this uh, episode, it's released on the same day as day three of my influencer masterclass. It's not too late. I know it's, it's either happened already the the masterclass or it's about the last day. Day three is about to happen. However, you can still access the replay. You still can. The replay is going to be available until March 4th to everybody that registers. So you have to register, even though you missed it, you, you can still access it, but you have to register. So go to ronniecruz.com slash masterclass. I'll leave the link in the show notes of this episode um, and register and, and learn all about being an influencer um, in the digital age, right? Learn about content creation and how you can leverage it um, for your advantage, whether you have a business or not, whether you're a network marketer or not, whether you might just be a stay-at-home parent, right? Like you can still leverage the internet and, and and, and create just more advantages for yourself, more options for yourself in the future. Again, it's ronniecruz.com slash masterclass. Um, All right, so that's gonna do it officially for this episode. We'll catch you tomorrow with a fresh new one. So until then, be well, be safe. We'll see you in the next episode.